Friday Sentinels. I'm your host, Ryan O'Connor. And I'm Zach Slotnick. Zach, so how are those grades going? Well, to be honest, I'm going to have to get strapped in because eligibility checks are only a couple weeks away. That's right. On the 1st of October, grade checks will be conducted for all students. Any student below a 65% in any subject will be ineligible for athletic and artistic competition. Now to Jarek and the interview team with Mrs. Martin. Thank you, Zach and Ryan. So we're here with Ms. Martin. Uh, Ms. Martin is the new ceramics teacher here at Seton. Thank you so much for spending your time answering these questions. So what do you enjoy most about the new Seton art community? Oh, the friendliness of everybody and the enthusiastic about the fine arts. What are the future art projects that your ceramics students will be doing this year? Uh, well, we're going to be working in slab work where we're making um, oh, um, plat plates and platters. Uh, we're also going to be working on the wheel, lots of wheel work, where we're going to combine both the wheel and slab work into sculptural pieces. So how did you get involved with ceramics? Uh, I started in high school doing simple projects and then once I went to college I did a lot of throwing on the wheel. Uh, I worked for um, different uh, studios, pottery studios, uh, during college to help pay for my way through college. So what is your favorite type of pottery to make? Oh, I love throwing on the wheel. I mean the wheel is the, the funness of it all. So um, I usually like to make like um, Oh, I don't know, things that are sculptural, using the wheel and slab techniques. What is your favorite part about teaching art? The students. <laughs> I love teaching students. I've taught, uh, actually, actually I love teaching high school. Uh, I've taught from kindergarten to college people and um, it's the high schoolers that I really like enjoying to work with. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ms. Martin. That's all the time we have for you today. Uh, we send it back to Ryan and Zach in the studio. In sports news, all the teams are off to a hot start. That's right. The football team is 3-0, coming off a great win against Mingus last Friday. Their next game is away tonight at Combs High School. Good luck. The volleyball team's record before the last two games was 4-0. The next game is Monday at Saguaro. Good luck. Swim and golf, keep grinding. Now to Carson with Riley Johnson and Sean Rafford. Hey guys, I'm here with varsity volleyball player Riley Johnson and varsity swimmer Sean Rafford. They were here to ask a couple questions and eventually play a game to see who's the most superior athlete. Riley, how does the volleyball team do so far? Pretty good. We have a pretty good record and we have good team chemistry, so it's really fun. What about swim team, Sean? Doing really well. We've improved a lot since the beginning of the season. Explain to our viewers uh, how you guys balance school and sports. So before practice we have a, stu a team study hall and then we get a lot of stuff done there and then after practice we normally finish everything up. Well basically I have morning practice before school so I can just go home after school and get all my stuff done. Sean, how do you feel about your performance for the swim team? Pretty disappointed. I expected more. Riley, how do you feel about getting that win? I'm not really surprised because volleyball is better than swim. Well, 
may seem difficult and tiring, but there are only 980 more class periods till the end of the year. Stay strong. Stay strong, stay on top of your homework, and good luck, Sentinels. This is Zach Slotic. And I'm Ryan O'Connor. Signing off.